Where's Saeed? Saeed! Okay, I borrowed his phone. He's not sick. How could you even let me think that? Because I needed to get you through the door. You're a sick man. Apparently. I don't have time for this. Oh, no, because you've got all that family to take care of, haven't you? And there's me thinking that Shabnam was a thousand miles away. And there's Tamwa, all cosy on my sofa. He's a married man. It's his choice. And then there's Masood, exiled to the B&B. &B. Admit it, Zainab. Without your family, you're nothing. You've got a nasty mouth, you know that? Well, coming from your forked tongue, I'll take that as a compliment. How dare you. Sorry, love. You're going nowhere. You wait till Saeed hears what you've done. I'm doing this for him. What, making me hate you even more? You really do, don't you? No. I don't hate anyone. It goes against everything that I believe in. I do not hate gays. No, just this one. And your gay son, of course. I pity them. They will never know the joy of a normal family life. <laughs> what, like yours? Because <laughs> that's funny, isn't it? Funny how gambling's a sin until it's your old man doing it. Zenab, you just pick and choose the bits of your faith that suit you best. My faith is about family. Oh. My faith is about forgiveness. But then how can you forgive someone who doesn't admit that they've sinned? Oh, and as adopting. That's one of those sins as well. No, I have nothing against adoption. I think it was one of the most selfless acts possible. Then why won't you support us? Speak. I just do not understand how... how a loving and generous woman would stand in the way of something so good. Because it is wrong. All right, it is wrong. And it's got nothing to do with religion or the law or Allah. It is about nature. A man and a woman are supposed to make a baby. If you choose to be gay, then you choose to forego that right to have a child. Even if it denies that child a loving home, huh? A family. You'd be better off that way. It is sick, Christian. It is wrong. Don't you know what? Get out, all right? I've heard just about as much as I can stomach off you. Really? No. No. You wanted to hear me out. Now you hear me out. Okay, okay. Forget about homosexuality for a minute. Why don't we talk about you? Well, you can't blame the world's sins on me, love. Oh, but you are. You're hedonistic. You are selfish. You are rude. You and that banshee that you run around with, you should have married her. Oh, what, because I had some choir boy that I corrupted? He was a con man. All right, he sold properties that didn't exist. He even tried to rip you two off. That's none of your business. You think I was the first bloke he slept with? Shut up. He's just a good liar. Because you taught him well. A devious, gay, con man. <laughs> Congratulations, Zainab Masood, Mother of the Year. Okay, fine. You prove me right, then. You tell me what child deserves parents like you do. Well, at least we're still together, love. This little waif will arrive, and then you'll want to go out drinking and and dancing and screeching with that girlfriend of yours what then huh you really think you've raised perfect kids <laughs> huh you're tapped don't you lecture me on parenting you don't even want a child here you you just want an accessory you want the next big thing the one thing that you can't have you think if Said wasn't Muslim that you would have been so desperate for him huh you mean if you hadn't made him a suicidal mess just because he fell in love with a man your hypocrisy stinks. Religion does not make you a good parent. Neither does being straight, white, or having a degree. You just do your best, Zainab. Surely you understand that better than anyone. Sometimes it isn't enough. What if we're really good at it? Hey? What if being a family is the making of side? <laughs>